Limo uh, and Bridge, can you believe it? I'll say it again if our listeners have missed it. We are giving everyone who listens to this show the chance to be on TV on The Project next week. Yeah, that's right. We have wonderful people phone into this show all the time. But imagine sitting on the desk of The Project for an entire show with yep. Rove, mm-hmm. Pete Hellier and Carrie Bickmore. You could be discovered. And to tell us yes. how, Rove McManus. I always can't imagine what that must feel like. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is, is that, that like? why I'm here? <laughs> is that, am I here to get the job? Yeah. 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 Uh, but first, before we get onto your chair, Rove, uh, mm-hmm. The Bachelor. You've had a couple of massive nights yeah. on the show. Have you, have you reached is it your finished? <laughs> yeah. Surely there is no more blood left in the stone. Well, I've got to say, uh, it is just a gift that keeps giving. <laughs> Look, I caught up with some friends over the weekend. One of them is a high court judge yes. right. who is married to a woman who was a lecturer at Oxford University uh, yes. in the England. I turned up to their house. Yeah. The first thing they said... What can you tell us about <laughs> The Bachelor? Do you know, right, is a true I've seen story. the same thing. The most intelligent, uh, you know, highly mm. educated people are into The Bachelor. Mm. So I'm going to mm. jump off. Except The Bachelor himself. <laughs> Except, yeah. Except the, the man himself. Hey, we wanted to see how much attention you've been paying to The Bachelor. Oh, okay, here and we, we go. And we're going to play a little game, Rove. It's called The Bachelor or Four. <laughs> oh, I have done to wrong you. Whatever I have done to lead you to do this. I'm truly sorry. Okay, who's that? I don't know which one that one (laughs) one was. Uh, I'm going to say, I want to say Thor. Mm. (laughs) so, that was Thor. Thor. So, Thor. Yeah, yeah. I think well the played. music behind <laughs> might have been just. I don't like, know. There's a there's a lot of groundswell in the Bachelor <laughs> yes. as well. There are plenty of cutaways. Now your chair, uh, <laughs> Rove. We've had mm. some. Uh, we've had some great entries. Yeah, so absolutely. Um, I'm I'm very pleased to the um, that uh, Jackson. Yes, uh, I believe has already tried once to be on. Oh, he tried last I think year. He had a crack last year. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what went wrong. Um, so um, to, to have a second crack at it. I mean, look, to be honest, this is my second attempt at the project. I was I was on in yeah. May. Yeah. Um, there was a long stint. I was only on for a week, and then they kind of went, eh, that's okay, then come back. So um, he's got he's got a very good chance. Um, now, I'm nervous about Irene. Oh, what's she done? Because Irene, um, uh, if I am if I have this correct, has weed uh, all over the classroom floor in year 11. Ooh. Now, I know people that weed on classroom floors, like in primary school yeah. or something. Oh. Year 11 is, I mean, that's... It's a nasty that's, year. It's a, stress, it's a stressful year, let's not deny it. You're about yeah. to go into your final mm. exam year, all that kind of yeah. stuff. Project is a stressful show. <laughs> I guess my point being, we don't need a second person working on the show who wheezes on the floor. You know, Pete Hellier has a lot of newspaper mm. down there, mm. and we don't want to make that any worse. That's Pete's but, mate, so but, really. Pete turns up with geez, four or five towels every night. I mean, it's it's exciting to think by the end of the night we could have a little trickle. <laughs> you know, it's like Russian now, roulette. Right, be, you, you, should do, you, you should do a little test every night just to say has there been any way oh, appropriately nervous? <laughs> yes, exactly <laughs> right. So we could put the little you know the little yellow A frame thing. That say wet, f- wet floor. Be careful. <laughs> I want to uh, ask you a serious question. Oh, don't ruin it now. Uh, well, mm. you've done a lot of interviews in your day. Mm-hmm. Let's be honest about it. Some good, some bad. Sure. Well, shall we? Well, before I ask well, my question, we want we want to say oh, that minute. it's hosting a show can be challenging. You've done hundreds of great interviews, but sometimes people can mm. get a little bit prickly. Do you, Do you like uh, the the title celebrity chef? <laughs> I'm not a celebrity chef. I'm a real chef, so um, I didn't go into cooking to go on television. I didn't so, say that. You're being well, a shithead now. Yeah, no, what I, I said was, I, I said, do you like the title? They didn't say that. Oh. Oh. Gordon Ramsay. I believe yes. he went on to say that my nose looked like a penis, <laughs> and my response to him was, better than my, better my nose than my entire face. <laughs> oh, wow. So, so, Rover, can you give, for people who are listening now, <laughs> who want to enter your chair, <laughs> they want to get on, sure, uh, and they... Don't want to get themselves into an awkward uh, yes. Ramsey situation. Have you got some tips? Yeah, well, certainly um, uh, personality. We want to see. We want to know you. Don't don't just don't uh, be someone else. Don't be someone else because mm. when you're on air, we could be throwing something your way, and we want you to be able to to think on your feet. Uh, just be yourself. Have an opinion. You know, if someone yep. asks you something, it, there's no right or wrong answer, but just have an opinion on it. Um, we will we will support you as a team, as I'm sure we will. But yeah, we want someone who uh, who can think on their feet, uh, has an opinion. 
opinion, but just, yeah, ultimately be yourself. And uh, But if there's something interesting you've got, a little quirk, maybe you do wee on the floor. Yeah. Maybe, like Victoria, you've written to a member of royalty. <laughs> oh. Then, you know, tell us about it. That quirky stuff as well can give us something interesting to talk to you about. Cool. All right. All right. Very good. Keep but those Or just sleep with the boss. <laughs> oh, that's, 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 that's a great piece of advice. That's the Much best piece of advice. Much easier having a personality. <laughs> Get those uh, auditions to yourchair.com.au. Uh, now, Bridget and Limo, you'll be on t- tonight on the project. Oh, yes, we are on. We'll be chatting to you tonight, right? Yeah. See, so well, how did you get How did you get on? <laughs> okay, the other thing is if you have a radio show as well. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe mention that. Actually, uh, getting back to sleeping with the boss. <laughs> but, oh, speak for yourself, Limo. Yes, thanks. Uh, the project news delivered differently, 6.30 weeknights on 10. Thank you, Rove. It's 8.44.